Hello and welcome to this video on DT4261. Today, I'll be sharing with you three main points of the new digital multimeter and without further ado, let's get started. The terminal shutter feature is helpful because it guides the operator to plug into the correct terminal. This is for voltage measurement and this is for direct current measurement. This will separate the direct current measurement from the voltage measurement and prevent the operator from plugging a probe into the wrong terminals. This is for voltage. And this is for direct current. The L9300 test leads incorporate an integrated cap that allows the operator to slide the test lead protective finger guard. There is no more concern about losing the protective caps with this new feature on the L9300. See how easy it is to slide the protective finger guard backward with lock and forward with lock. Currently, the fuse check for other Hyoki DMM models is carried out this way. We can check by removing and measuring the fuse resistance. As you can see on this previous DMM model, it measures 0 ohms. Or alternatively, we can also check the fuse using this method. Plug one end of the probe into this terminal, select resistance function, and insert the lead into the other terminal and compare the resistance value as mentioned in the manual. This value may vary according to the different types of DMMs available, and for this case of DT4256, the resistance value has to be less than 1 ohm to ensure the fuse is still functioning. For the DT4261, we can skip several steps just by turning the knob to the current measurement as shown here. If the fuse is broken, you will get a fuse open warning indication. The low ZV stands for Low Impedance Voltage Measurement. This new feature allows the operator to measure the voltage across the circuit with low impedance input. The purpose of having this new function is to measure ghost or stray voltages. This phenomena may occur due to capacitive coupling between the energized wire and adjacent unused wiring in close proximity. The optional accessory Z3210 wireless adapter must be installed inside the DT4261 to connect to Janet Cross on your mobile or tablet. I shall now demonstrate how this is done. Remove the back cover. Insert the Z3210 into this slot here. Install the back cover. Press and hold the backlight button for at least 1 second to turn on Bluetooth and it is now ready to be connected to Jeanette Cross on your mobile or tablet devices. After connecting to Jeanette Cross using your mobile phone, we can now observe the voltage measurements and waveform measurements. As you can see here, Jeanette Cross is able to capture accurately the voltage, frequency and also the sine wave of the power supply being measured. We can also conduct current measurements showing the waveform and the values. Harmonics of both current and voltage up to the 30th order can also be measured. Moving on to Excel Direct Input Function. HID stands for Human Interface Device. To activate the HID function on the DT4261, press and hold the Range and Display Backlight buttons. Turn the knob to Resistance Function you should see set HID on. The next step is to search for the Z3210 wireless adapter in your laptop's Bluetooth page and connect to the Z3210. Once connected, click Done. Once the Bluetooth link has been established, we can open up the Excel file on the laptop. This is a sample site inspection sheet to measure the voltage across all the control panel MCVs which will be recorded automatically into the Excel sheet. Please note that you can also record the voltage results inside the Excel sheet of your mobile phone or tablet devices. I shall now do a short demo on a direct Excel input function. Remember to click on the first cell of your report and the results will be tabulated automatically after the measurement is done. The DT4261 is made in Japan. The design of the DT4261 is cool and tough. DT4261 has the fastest response speed in the world. 
Thank you and please subscribe if you like this short video on the new DT4261. Thank <laughs> you.